Every now and then you get an opportunity to get a new pair of shoes that hasn't been worn before. This was a pair of Aldens that I found uh, that was uh, listed as unworn. Very excited about these. Hey, I've organized all my playlists on this channel so that you're able to easily find different types of shoes, different brands of shoes, as well as uh, finding all my shoe battles, uh, worth the price shoe reviews, etc., all in one place. Enjoy. Hey everybody, Wisconsin Shoe Guy here, and today we're going to look at a pair of Alden 990s. Um, I, uh, I've been uh, acquiring uh, quite a bit of shoes, but uh, lately I um, have been selling quite a few. And so, um, you know, I did a couple of videos on, on what I was uh, um, purging from my collection and, um, you know, a few people I've posted on some of the sale groups as well. And somebody reached out to me and said, hey, I think this is your size. I know your collection of Court Event, uh, killer deal. You should check it out. So I did. And um, it a pair of plain toe bluchers from Alden, uh, a 990 uh, that had very little wear. Um, I was told that they've been tried on in a showroom a few times. And um, I, uh, I took a look, um, the pictures look fantastic. And so, um, and the, uh, the, the pricing worked out really well. So um, I decided to uh, pull the trigger um, on something that was not planned, uh, which uh, for uh, Shell Cordovan Alden's brand new is um, pretty, uh, pretty amazing uh, just to have that opportunity. So, uh, so, so here they are, um, this, is, um, this is the box that they came in. Um, they were very well packaged, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm saving you that. Um, you can see this is the 990 size 11D. Um, so let's take a look in the box and see what, uh, see what we see. So um, now uh, came with bags, which is always very nice. Um, I'm a fan of collecting the bags, although I have a few pairs of Alden bags. Uh, a really nice thank you card. Um, uh, the uh, gentleman who sold them to me, um, Looks like he's running a, a business for it. Uh, we never really got into it. Um, so I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, just a, a real nice thank you card. And he included a little extra gift for me, uh, which I was surprised to see, um, which is not a small gift. This is um, Burgundy Shell Cordovan Cream from Saphir. And uh, just, uh, you know, brand new, never been used. Um, super, super nice gift. And uh, very, very excited for that. Um, I'll put that to good use. Um, and then uh, take a look at the shoes, right? So the shoes are in the original bags. Um, and so I, I pulled them out and uh, they did not have laces in them. I, I actually took a peek before I filmed um, and uh, I put some laces into them. So, um, but uh, really nice, good looking. Um, good looking shoes. Now, there is some, uh, what I would consider to be wear here, but um, you know, these are PTBs. If somebody had a foot that was a little bit too small for them um, and tried them on a few times, you can see from the sole wear, uh, they probably were worn on carpet a few times. Uh, this is consistent with what I would expect for being tried on in a shop. Um, and uh, so I'm not, uh, not shocked by that. And again, looking at the wear on um, both of the soles, um, that is barely anywhere. Now, if uh, these had been resold, um, which you know occurred to me that maybe maybe that's what it was, then this wear up top is very, very little uh, compared to to my pair because I have a pair of Allen Edmonds uh, or I had a pair I sold them. Uh, but I had a pair of um, Allen Edmond uh, leads, um, which uh, um, uh, which uh, I needed to be resold um, after about 14 years, and uh, they were uh, they were much much more um, much more wear showing. Now, what's interesting here is if you look at this coloring, that's the original shell cordovan color here, and then the rest of it is significantly lighter. So you can see that, and this is, and if you look at my um, I have a playlist called Shell Cordovan. Uh, if you look at that playlist, um, you can find some videos on sunning Shell Cordovan. This was sunned in order to get to this beautiful um, cranberry, for lack of a better word, patina. And that's kind of the original color eight eggplant color that's there. So again, um, this was in the pictures. I looked at it, I saw it. It, uh, 
Um, it all is very consistent with what I saw. Um, again, as I as I look here, you know this this kind of caught my eye because there's obviously been some wear um, on the upper there. Um, but uh, again, if you just flex the shoes a few times, and you can feel it. I mean, it feels it, it like it's in great shape. Um, so not not an issue at all. And again, the soles are are pretty much untouched. So um, very happy with them. Uh, so what what do I do when I first get a pair of shoes like this? By the way, the, on the inside they look brand new. There's absolutely nothing nothing to think about there. Um, you know, the first thing is you put shoe trees in them, right? So um, you put trees in. That's another thing you got to keep in mind, right? If these are stock on a shelf in a store. Um, then that means they're probably not being stored with trees. So putting the trees in them will stretch this out a little bit. And then um, what I can do is I can use some uh, Venetian shoe cream and I can use that on this. Um, I can also, um, uh, you know, use some conditioner cleaner, uh, like a severe run of tour. I can use on um, this, although my experience is that, and I've never used the severe colored cream. I, I usually use a, um, a, a neutral cream. And, and the reason for that is that I don't usually, I, I don't want to darken um, the, the, the eggplant color uh, back to the original. I, I like to, to keep it uh, um, so that it continues to lighten in the sun. I really like the way that that looks. And, um, you know, I have a new pair of uh, Burgundy Bradley that I'm going to need to uh, to start doing that, and I really wish that my 2210s from Alden uh, were already this color. But um, so so I've I've got some work to do in order to get these in the sun um, and get that built up. Of course, you know I'm in Southeast Wisconsin. It's November 10th. Um, I'm not doing it now. <laughs> this will this will this will have to be next summer. So um, so I've got some I've got some work to do there. Uh, but so I'll condition them um, and uh, and uh, really kind of work in. Um, I like to use uh, pure polish um, water resistant cream, um, which is pigmented, but not not very harshly so. Um, and that has a, a, a good deal of um, uh, uh, conditioner quality um, in it as well. It also re redoes a lot of the things. So I'll do that. But uh, really with this, um, I'm gonna use my deer bone and just uh, give this a, a, a little bit of a uh, little bit of love. And I think that that'll, uh, That'll that'll be nice, and then I'll wear them a few times, and uh, you know the sole will get you know the original scuffing will be gone, and um, you'll be able to see um, everything there. So, uh, Sean, uh, who's the gentleman who sold this to me, thank you again. Uh, these are absolutely beautiful. I'm extremely excited uh, to have them, and I'm extremely excited that I didn't have to uh, uh, spend full retail uh, in order to acquire them because that is um, you know. That is a thoughtful investment. Um, it, it's it's not an inexpensive shoe. So, thanks again. Really uh, looking forward to it, and I will follow up with a maiden voyage video, uh, where I will have them, uh, you know, good to go, and uh, you'll be able to see um, me uh, me wearing them and them on my feet. So, thank you so much. Bye now.